Catholic faithfuls across the East African region are anxious as they count down to the Pope's scheduled visit uh, to Kenya, Uganda and the Central African Republic. At the University of Nairobi in Kenya, construction workers are now putting the final touches on the altar where the Pope is expected to lead over a million Catholic faithful for a holy mass. Marimi Mwangi with the details. The rush against time in preparation to unpack the basket of goodies from the Vatican and the hosts are leaving nothing to chance as the countdown for the arrival of the special visitor from the Vatican draws to just over three weeks now. Expectations and the anxiety to chart a fresh course with their maker seemingly filling Kenyans with even more hope as Pope Francis prepares to jet into the country on the 25th of this month. On this day, the Kenyan Catholic bishops were here at the University of Nairobi Graduation Square to check on the progress of the construction of this altar where the Pope will on November 26th lead the faithful in a holy mass. And now, the local bishops also have a message for all the local faithful in the run-up to that day. It is indeed a privileged moment as we begin to final, the final countdown to this historical state of apostolic visit. Pope Francis will tour the country with a message of peace and the local Catholic Church says leaders in the country must tow that line before and after the Pope's visit. What am I doing to make this country a more peaceful and prosperous nation? Upon arrival, the Pope will be received by President Uhuru Kenyatta at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, after which the two will hold talks on issues of equity, inclusivity, religious tolerance, poverty eradication and climate change, after which the Pope will make a special address to the nation. The following day, the Pope will chair an inter-religious meeting before proceeding here where close to a million faithful are expected to attend his Holy Mass. We want to pray that uh, this visit strengthens our resolve as a university to search for truth and knowledge and that the virtues of academy will prosper as a result of this visit. Upon his departure from Kenya, the Pope is expected to visit Uganda and the Central African Republic. With a message of peace, equity, inclusivity and religious tolerance, the Pope comes into the country at a time when a number of leaders have been accused of engaging in hate speech and of course increased cases of corruption. And on this location where the Pope will be holding that holy mass, the message of the Catholic Church is for Kenyans and the leadership to embrace integrity and reconciliation. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.